Well, hello there everyone, David, your friendly Harry Scotsman here, yet again, doing another little review. Um, I found some Mr. Kipling's Exceedingly Good Cakes, six Bakewell Slices. Now, look, there's the traffic light, if you want them, it's pretty much Don't Eat Me. Um, all the bump in the back, it's coming out a wee bit. All that writing is what's in them, that's how bad they are for you, or good, or whatever. More bump in the top. So, this here is so small to read. Pastry layered with fruity jam and frangipan sponge, topped with white fondant icing. Uh-huh. 100% natural, no artificial colours, no hydrogenated fats, suitable for vegetarians. Loads of stuff in it. Pastry base, layer with plum and raspberry jam, which is 12%. And almond flavoured sponge, topped with decorated fondant icing, which is 24%. Uh, And then lots of stuff that you really don't want to read. Exceedingly good. Lovingly baked in Britain. Ah. So. How did I get into them? Probably best before the 18th of February, which is lucky because today's the 15th. But when you see this, it could well be next month. Who knows? I try and shoot a well ahead of myself. Ah. They come in little packets of two. And there's three little packets of two. So, obviously snack size. Ideal if you've got kids. You can stick them in their lunchbox. Um... If you are a big kid, you can stick them in your own lunchbox. So. Oh, that's... Sm you can smell the almonds in the frangipan. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. That's what it looks like up close. You can see the pastry, the jam, the frangipan, and the icing with a nice little swirly shape on the back yet. So, let's give it a wee go. Mm. They are so moist. I know that's going to trigger folk, but there isn't really another word to describe it. You can taste the almonds, and then you're getting the like the raspberry jam, the raspberry flavour of the jam coming through, with a little sharpness of the plum, the sweetness and sharpness of the plum, and then you've got the sweetness of the icing on the top, the fondant. The pastry is really thin, very light, it's not sort of crunchy or fall apart, it's also getting some of the moisture out of the frangipan and the jam. That is so good. Do you behave and leave the other one. I'm looking at the bit of icing that's stuck to the side here. Or do I just go, well, it might dry up if it's left in its big thing there without its wrapper, wouldn't it? So I'm ashamed to let it dry up. The pastry on the bottom, you can actually, it's quite firm there. But when you eat it, It's 
it's it's not dry. Even just scraping a wee bit off the edge there, but it's not a dry pastry. It doesn't have a soggy bottom. It's underneath it there. And you got the jam really in it and all the stuff there. Mm. That is so tasty. It's got just a nice level of sweetness. The almondiness is coming through. The jam's there, it's giving it a nice little sweet bite. Mr Kipling, you do in fact make exceedingly good cakes. These Bakewell slices are stunning. They're lovely. They're amazing. I'll probably finish this whole box quite easily. No, I'm not supposed to. Don't care. They're good. So... This is just a wee shorty. Um, I'm going to disappear just now. If you haven't already subbed, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you hit the like button, I would appreciate it even more. Hit the bell, you might even know when I'm doing more of these. Leave a comment, I'll get back to you as well. Um, there's very few that I haven't that I've actually missed. Um, I tr always try and get back to the folk that have taken time to write to me. So, on that, take care of yourselves, everyone. Hopefully I'll speak to you all again very, very soon. See ya.